Hey there, everybody. Today is Thursday, the 23rd day of March uh, 2023. It's about 1.25 in the afternoon. And you can tell by this sign that I'm at Mr. D's RV Park. And you can see the phone number up there. This road here, right beside us, is 231. Kind of the major road through here. In fact, it's kind of a lot of traffic that goes to Florida on this road, is what we were told. So there's a fair amount of traffic. But it does die down at night a lot. This double white here, my understanding is this is the, the lady that used to own this park, but she sold it out to somebody else. But she made the deal that she could stay here, of course, so that's what that is. Uh, right over there, if you look, is an antiques, treasuries, and more, it says. It's a nice place. They got a lot of, of old stuff in there. You can go in there and spend an hour or two easily. Uh, the way we came, we came from Enterprise, which Enterprise is that way, and you come down 27, which runs by that hotel over there. Google Maps will try to get you to turn into that hotel, because apparently it used to be a guy actually said here that years ago there was a road that came through here, but that road has since gone. So don't pay attention to that. Make sure you come out here to 231, and then come across, and then come in right here. And so... Just to kind of give you an overview of the park, we've been here for a month. We are leaving tomorrow and uh, heading on to other points. But it's been a really good stay, first of all. I'll go ahead and tell you that. Uh, there's almost no cons to this place. I mean, the road noise could be if you're up here at front, I guess, a little bit. But we're not. We're all the way back here in the back. And I'll show you that and I'll do an individual video on, on my site like I usually do. You can see there's a couple empty ones here. And you see that the people who stay here, it's, it's just, a, it, it's an RV park. There's no trailers here. It's just all RVs of various sorts, like always. But I'll just give you some views as I go through here. Uh, it's a little, what are we paying? We're paying five something a month. Uh, just a little over 500, if I remember right. I'll have to confirm that with my finance manager. And this is a, a road that goes through here. There's only the three. There's this one out, which is in the middle. The one I just pointed to you on the right. And then over here. So I'll kind of get you to see through over there. But there are other RVs that can stay back there too. And here's a, an empty one. You can see the site's fairly long. Uh, some are shorter than others. Ours is, ours is one of the shorter ones because we're on the edge, but that's what makes it nice. And you can see there's there's a couple empty here, but you can see back there now a better, a clear view of that third row, and that's the end of it, and that's that uh, treasury place over there, that as they call it. But uh, the, the internet here is some of the best that I've had. It, it's consistently around 43 to 45 megabits down, and about three and a half to four up uh, compared to other places. I mean, that is fast because I've, I've been so disappointed in so many places. It's, of course, full hookup, and this is us right here. But again, I'll do an individual video on that here. Up here is their laundry room. I guess if there's a, a real negative, uh, this is it. My wife did a load here when we first got here. And the dryer never ever did dry the clothes. Uh, it, it did a really bad job. So we've been going to a laundromat, which is only a couple miles from here, right downtown Ozark. But this here is the laundry room, you can see. So just show that to you right quick. I mean, that's, that's all it is. And then the other thing I need to show you is where the trash is at. So you can see, see by that view, we started all the way up there at the front. This is the very back, and again, that's our site, but I'll cover that in more detail in, in the next video. But you do have this little swing right here, and uh, they have fixed it up. Uh, we were told it actually fell down before we got here, but we sat in it together, and it worked very well. And so, basically what I want to point out to you is there's only one dumpster here, and that dumpster is up there. You see that house up there? Well, that, that's an abandoned house. They just use that for storage. So there's the one dumpster 
So, you know, we happen to be right there, so we're very close to it. And you see there are a few people parked up here. But, what can I tell you? I mean, it's, it's very close to, to Ozark. Not that that has a lot to offer. You're about 22 minutes from uh, Enterprise here, and you're about eh, 20 to 25 minutes at most to uh, Dothan. And then you're about 30 minutes to Troy to the north up there. So, um, but it's been a good stay. It's been very quiet. No problems, no noise. Um, yeah, you still get a little bit of traffic out here while you're out here, but on the inside, you, you get almost zero noise. So that's all very good. So I'll do a, a video of, of my site here, and I hope you've enjoyed this.